Were you already at this part? I don't, I don't know, because I, I remember, remember being at the library, and I don't remember leaving. Um, I want to say I probably started a saw. Outside the library? Over, yeah. Oh, over? Well, because we Is this we the library? Already, aren't we, weren't we already looking through the newspapers? Yes. Yeah. Okay, keep is... it going. <laughs> So, like, this is all stuff we've done. Yeah, alright. So, let's, uh... Okay. Feels really fucking... I was, I was hoping we would at least start on the next floor. I thought this was what was supposed to happen after the library, and I was like, what? I thought, like... <laughs> okay, full we truth. already know what you were gonna say, Bear. I thought we were in the subway. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it kind of, uh, looks like a lot. I was yeah. like, what? Well, not that, that, that underground... That is a subway, right? Right? It honestly looks like it's an underground library of some sort. So, not interacting with those things from earlier isn't gonna, like, change dialogue, is it? No. Okay. It's just for funs. It's for funsies. It's old up here. Maybe your ghost is up here. In yep. Ghost. Ghost. Or something. Bed. Whatever he was. He walked through a chain link fence. Flew over it. Something. Or maybe he's just some dude with mad hops. <laughs> he could be a dude with mad hops. Do you not find out who it is? Okay, we'll find that out later. <laughs> Let's get going. Oh, I know who it was. May. From the future. That would be <laughs> insane! I mean, at this point, this game could pull it off because I don't even know what it's about. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I have little to no understanding of what this game is about. Da, da, shy, bye. That's what okay. B said. I have no idea how to turn on a computer. <laughs> what heck? Yeah, I remember this. It was my idea. It was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research. We already got this far. But you know what? Because you're, you're my, my friend, friend. You asshole. And then my favorite line. Aww. We friends be a twist? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, let's just read the grandpa one again and then uh, right. find out where we're supposed to go. I don't know of how many of these I read before, but I I just want... Yeah, you know, it won't affect anything. We already know about the two, so let's just... Uh, I don't know, let's just let May figure it out. Okay. I wanna... Let's see. <gasps> Strange but true. This is the one that was... Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, now what are we looking for? That's the strike. Mm, not exactly about G host. Little ghost, little Joe. That was the first that one it? that we found. Uh, oh, okay. There's like several ones. Yeah. Didn't we? We read this one, I think. Yeah. where uh, B needs to go go a certain place in the graveyard for a reason that you will find Ghosts out. Ghosts are history. Ghosts are history. Alright, that's I think where we left off. Uh, Samuel Coulson has purchased ten acres of land on the outskirts of Possum Springs. When we inquired as of to what Mr. Coulson would use the land for, he would only remark that what was coming here would delight both young and old for years to come. We are very anxious to be delighted. And then he made Possum Springs. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> uh. Is this it? Is this it? Houses have been evacuated after the discovery of gas buildup in the basements was found to have led hallucinations and scattered members of the households. Oh, it's it's their house. It's in May's house. <laughs> nah, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were about to say it's their house in the middle of, of their, their house. house. <laughs> For the past several weeks, we're supposed to complain the family Lead a little louder, please. <laughs> <laughs> don't mumble it. I have that problem where I'll, I'll mumble fast. Oh, uh, okay. Where'd you leave off? I got this. They were not there. One older woman was found having an animated discussion with an empty chair. <gasps> when pressed, she calmly explained that she was talking to her sister who had passed away some 50 years ago. 
Two nights ago, the son of Carson Zimmer ran out of the house and leapt into Cooper's Pond a, a, a one mile up the road. Moments before this, the child had been readying for bed and, according to another sibling, became increasingly agitated. The last words he uttered were about some sort of song before he dashed out of the house into the night where his watery grave awaited yeah. him. <laughs> yeah. This last event persuaded residents to request help from officials to see if this is related to St. Lumen's Lantern, a phenomenon where exposure to specific underground gases leads certain victims to experience walking dreams, uh, auditory hallucinations, and a sense of unseen presences. Preliminary tests indicate the gas is present in the home. The mining officials are moving the residents until more tests can be completed. Well, oh, that sounds like it could be ghosts instead. Uh, it could be. This one. That's you. This one? They're both no you. No ghost. <laughs> <laughs> no ghost. They're both you. Uh, that. There has been another sighting of the albino groundhog from a very reliable source this time. This time. Edgar Stutter. Studer? Reports that he saw the pure white beast digging near Shade Gap. Mr. Studer. Stutter? Which, which do you like better? Which, how I do you like think that's pronounced? Stuter. Stuter has declined to give any more of the ex an exact location and implores his fellow hunters to admire this anomaly from afar and leave him to his business. We could not agree more with this upstanding citizen and remind townsfolk if he, that if you are interested in seeing an albino creature to stop by... Suddy's Barber Shop for a peek at an albino raccoon. We're certain this will assist your mind in completing the search for the groundhog. Why? Because they need to sell all those raccoon pelts. Well, <laughs> beaver pellets. <laughs> I don't think that has anything Let's to do. Let's find out. No ghosts here. This screen is... Bi oh, there's the end. Good. <laughs> Good. I was hoping it ended somewhere. Possum Springs and Possum Springs. Progress Springs oh, okay. and Possum Springs. Okay, I thought it said Possum and Possum Springs. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Randolph Stafford, owner of Bell's Hole Mine Works, is partnered with Samuel Coulson, owner of Coulson Coquarts, Daniel Glick, railroad magnate, and prominent business owner Harrison Schriegeist to make some stunning improvements throughout the town. The four men desire to build a model of progressive living right here in Possum Springs. The old miner's double house is on Elm Street. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's a nightmare there. Yeah. Oh, I was going to make that joke. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be torn down and replaced with a spacious simple home. A new elementary school will be opened nearby along with the new state art recreation center courtesy of Arnold Applebaum. Huh. This is in addition to the improvements Randolph Safford promised the previously striking miners. No ghost. I don't think there's a lot of ghosts. Ghost! <laughs> I put this, like in big letters, it just says ghost. This was the pie piracy. <laughs> I think we read that one. I don't remember. Stanley T. Possum statue. I feel like we looked at that too. Click it. I wish when we clicked on things, at least maybe B or something would give us the cliff notes of the article. <laughs> uh, you read about the possum massacre. I remember that one. Uh, we read that. Oh my gosh, it's over already? Oh, hey. Oh, the final group of bodies from the 1888 explosion have been recovered two days shy of the one-year anniversary of the tragedy. These five men bring the total of dead up to 112. Two of the men, Addison Pine and Henry Harvey, were the ones who set off the explosion. Although mine bosses had been informed that gas pockets were present in that section, they elected to not inform Pine and Harvey of the possible danger. <laughs> the other three bodies belong to Peter Bledsoe, Christine, Christian Stanoff, and Peter Lajtha. <laughs> Peter Lajtha's funeral arrangements will be handled by Father Littes, Littes as the man's widow. 
has since returned to Hungary with his two orphans. This was a roller coaster of an article from start to finish. Yeah, like what? No ghosts here. No ghosts here! Cliff notes, Bay! <laughs> Sound off opinion line. I don't remember that one, but. We yeah. would like to remind the men of our town to please refrain from spitting on the sidewalk. This unsanitary havoc is unseemly and beneath you. Parents, please be sure your daughters are not participating in the trend of shirts showing the ankles. I do not think we need to remind you the road of brimstone this temporary fashion trend will lead your dear daughters down. <laughs> I have been witnessing more and more teenage girls coming into our town on a Saturday night unchaperoned, using vulgar slang terms, certainly unfit for me to print here, and blocking the sidewalks by walking arm in arm. My accent instantly has changed throughout yeah, this. Yeah, I've noticed, but I just wanted to keep it going. They are loud and also flirt with boys. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> while smoking Hold cigarettes. the presses. These young ladies need to be soft before our young... Ladies get any ideas. <laughs> ideas. Our boys. boys fall in love with the wrong girl. Young men have been seen around Possum Springs engaging in the ridiculous behavior of wearing mismatched patterns in their suits. This type of outfit may be all the rage in Bright Harbor, but good luck getting any respectable businessmen around here to employ you. You all look like rabid clowns. What is this? Councilman Pushinkaya's, I hope I pronounced that right, plan for Third Street is a joke. What else is there to say? No uh, ghosts here. Click it. <gasps> no, no ghosts, ghosts here. here. <laughs> Ghostly rumors! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> The Possum huh. Springs Historical Society <laughs> conversion of the of the Shragist House into the new headquarters and education center has hit a snag. Uh, can you can you move the thing? A custodial head, Jed Nasamer. That like line from the squares was over that word enough for me to not be able to read it. Has resigned, citing strange occurrences in the old manor. I'd be there. I'd be there after <laughs> hours doing my work, and I'd hear someone walking around trying doorknobs. I came out to see who was fooling, but there was never anybody there," said Nus. I don't know. Jed. Jed was probably not sound like that, but that's how he sounds now. <laughs> trying to get this map room operation over the. Children, all the while I'm looking over my shoulder, expecting to see a <laughs> news or what? God knows what. That's but not they it. They censored oh. God for some reason. <laughs> Mr. Nuss has previously <laughs> requested to work only daylight hours when other staff were present in the building, but even that provided to be too terrifying. I don't go off. I don't go to the off-limits areas anymore. I don't go up past the second floor and then only to go to the office. I know the others laugh. Say I'm seeing Little Joe or something. But they can all go spit. <laughs> Little Joe for the un uninitiated. uninitiated was a local ghost story popular some years ago. The Possum Springs Historical Society has refused to comment on Mr. B -b 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 claims at the time. <laughs> at this time. This hey, that's ghosty. a ghost. Hey, 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 hey. Ghost spotted. Historical Society. History that won't stay history. In the history place. History place. Yeah, I've never been. You never went back in school? No, I always was skipping classes and apparently beating up statues. This is when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Yeah, mostly just watch TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. Used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something. Railroad, mine, steel mill, something like that. An actual haunted house. No. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have, like, summer arts and craft programs. Oh, well, still we're checking out. Is there more? How do we know when we have the right thing? It will stop. It'll Got it. Stop. Just the strike is no, no. I, I, I'm getting. I'm getting tired of this. I just <laughs> want to find the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say stuff. This is there's... this is almost the whole episode. <laughs> this is a lot of stuff. I think we read this one. 
Like, we read that one again. Oh, hey, Little Joe. That's who they mentioned in the other one. Can we not click on ones we've already clicked? This is the final one. I feel like we've gone full thing. I. You sure it automatically stops? Yes. Dun dun. I feel like we've been on the whole screen. Underground. Get. We hit that one. We did that one. Here we go. Oh, here we go. This is the one. This one hey. that we saw before. We did this one before. I yeah, I remember this one. I started reading a little bit. There? Nope. Uh, uh. Gonna check it out though. That's like three leads. Let's boogie. <laughs> we did it! Yay! Right. I'm boogie. good. I'm so glad <laughs> that we can do the next episode and do something. <laughs> the last episode was like almost 20, I think was 25 minutes long, and it was also just this, Heather. <laughs> I mean, I was just gonna click through them, but. I, I wanted to, like, I didn't expect there to be that many. <laughs> Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. No, let's look at more stuff. <laughs> oh, God. I, I think there's nothing left to look at. Three clues. We got three leads. You're a regular detective. May Barowski, a detective of ghosts. A ghost of detectives. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go. Where do you want to go first? Do we go to all three locations? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's you. <laughs> I know! I was when you instantly started nudging me. <laughs> yeah, I was like, go on. So we've got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I have a cat license. <laughs> I mean, no, regardless. But do you? Nope. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money? Yep. I didn't choose to be born into this society. Okay, well, I have, you know, a job, so I can't drive you around to all of these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard, but I need to go there anyway, so... Cool, I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two, then. How about Angus? Could always ask him, too. Oh. I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Yes, it does. Hey, nerd! Ever hear that history repeats? No. It does. It does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been in a loop since we were living in caves? Yes. Yeah, that's science. We just got better caves oh. called houses. <laughs> <laughs> oh my freaking god. Um, the library's closed. Get out. <laughs> Leave. Vacate the premises. Oh my god. It's so nice. What are they doing here? Ahem. <laughs> what is... Shh. Is that Miss Quelsey? Oh, wow. I haven't seen her since graduation. Which one? She was always kind of a badass. Which one? Is the, the, uh, bird. That's a lady? Yeah. Okay. Like, so... I can tell that May and B are girls, but that one? I mean, I couldn't tell Selmers was a girl either, so... <laughs> School district did not fund that art program at all, but she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Well, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for coming. It's to like this a PA man. monitor starting up every yeah. time before she speaks. <laughs> you ever hear that rumor that she might be a robot? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, next episode, we'll see what this is about. Hope you join us there. Love you. Mean it. Click.